Okay. There she is, guys. You were probably wondering, oh, where's my 123? It's right here. It's a little dirty. But, um, yeah, it's been like three months, so uh, I haven't started it. So I'm actually going to go ahead, check my oil, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to start it. is you can see that the coolant is good oh, the oil is good too see first start after a long time wow That is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna let it warm up, then I'm gonna pull it forward and I will show you what I'm gonna be doing to it today. Yeah, for some reason my brake light came on. It was never on. I'm gonna be removing this dashboard now and I'll be replacing with a different one. I don't know how much I'll be able to film, but uh, basically I'll have to take the instrument cluster out, I'll have to take the headlight switch out, the uh, disconnect the parking release, uh, parking brake release, take out everything from there, probably remove the steering wheel or maybe just kind of uh, lower it down. Um, I don't think I'm gonna remove this center console. It's probably gonna be okay if it stays in place. And then these will probably have to come off. Glove box, remove this center piece of the steering wheel, disconnected the uh, headlight switch, the parking brake, start removing the speaker stuff and the pillar cover and all that stuff. So I'm gonna keep going and kind of show you the process it's ready to be pulled guys as you, have, you can see I have the center console still in place I just disconnected a bunch of stuff here and I can pull this out and I lowered the steering wheel down board is out right now before I put a new dashboard in I want to make sure everything is connected here because I think I saw on that side there was a vacuum hose disconnected by previous owner and maybe I'll just clean this a little bit you know from dust and I don't know how this one mounts and this one they're just like laying on the floor here thank you so much previous owner so I'm gonna get to that and then one of these valves was plugged off let's see which one it is this one okay guys so I managed to connect these two together the two modules that's just basically the mount for them it was missing took it off of my parts car and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, I just connected this second uh, kind of like a valve okay and uh, the vacuum hoses are also connected to it so I'm 
this uh, vacuum hose goes from that valve to this one and this this valve right there was also disconnected there was no vacuum hose coming to it right now everything goes in there so it should be all good to go and uh, dashboard okay so it's in a much better condition and this is the one that's gonna be going inside the car okay the new dashboard is pretty much in just have to connect a couple of more things and here's a my nice um, glove box okay all nice wood everything is nice clean still have to clean a little more but yeah I'm happy with uh, the way it came out you know it makes actually you know the interior you know it gives actually maybe a plus one or plus two for the interior so you know it's uh, I'm glad that I replaced this thing with a better one and this is the old one okay and there's cracks in this thing it wasn't as horrible you know but some dummy uh, put this uh, screw in here to hold this wood trim piece which is so stupid yeah pretty nice weather so just kind of working here on the car everything's pretty much back except the cluster and uh, I haven't cleaned it yet I'm gonna go ahead and clean it already cleaned the mat uh, the floor mats and all that stuff everything's pretty much back together okay but I'm just gonna have to put back the cluster but in the meantime what I'm doing is also one more thing is I put this cover back on still need to put one more bolt can't find it one more screw but as you remember I was cleaning this up so it came out really nice and clean and uh, yeah it's just basically a kick panel Anyways, but right now, what I was going to show you is uh, what I'm doing is, as you can see, that control arm. And uh, as you can see, it's it's greasy. That's because uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually putting silicone grease on all the boots. Okay. Because I want to make sure that they don't start cracking or like just dry rotting. So the silicone grease is really good for that. So that's what I'm doing and um, I'm gonna do it to everything basically to the ball joint and uh, to all the tie rods that I was doing okay I don't know if you'll be able to see but I did lubricate all the boots of the tie rods and uh, ball joints and everything uh, to keep them lubricated basically I use the silicone grease as you can see right there so I did everything in the front so now I'm gonna be uh, you know peaceful I don't have to worry about you know the boots starting to crack you know or something like that sometimes you know like even from sitting or even from driving depends on what kind of rubber you use it can just start like cracking all of a sudden you're gonna be like what's going on so but yeah I'm so happy you know this dashboard is really nice and it's just it's just awesome okay and the wood is in great condition okay this stuff Perfect. Forgot to mention is uh, I just fixed my buzzer, so it's working. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. I know it might be annoying for some of you guys, but I really like to bring everything back to original um, condition. Meaning, I really like the buzzer of it. I don't know, some of you guys might hate it, but. I like it, I don't mind it, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have a buzzer now, working.
So that's a big plus.